Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another really exciting, cool, and fun demo video. We are gonna compare the luxury skincare mask versus budget friendly mask and on my face and see the difference before and after. And let's get started. Okay, so I just washed my face now and I've been wanting to do this for a long time because I bought a Dr. Brand magnetic mask about seven, eight months ago and I kind of like it. I wasn't too impressed, uh, but it's not bad. And it, it, this is a three ounce for $75. And then recently I bought the e.l.f. Skincare, the Beauty Shield, the magnetic mask for $24 for 1.7 ounce. I was like, okay. And I really want to do the diff before and after show you guys. All right, so anytime you do the mask, you want to make sure that your face is 100% clean. So I just wash my face, my face is clean. And then um, I'm going to use a spatula to use this apply because the key ingredient is ionic powder. So it's really hard to get off the skin. So you want to just kind of use this. I wouldn't even use brush because I think the first time I use brush to apply this, I basically throw it away my brush because I can't get it clean. It's just too complicated. So if you never tried this mask from Dr. Brand, um, the consistency you can see is very, very velvety as I apply to the skin. Can you see that? Let me get a little closer. So I'm gonna put this right down here. Okay. And it has a really nice, uh, I believe it's a chamomile and lavender sense so it's a very calm very very soothing i'm gonna put this right there I mean, you can definitely see that when i just glide it just the product glide very very easily i mean for 70 some dollars it better made me feel amazing right if you tried this mask already leave the comment below because one thing about my youtube is like a community for all of us and we learn from each other because i don't know everything um so it's kind of important that you know you leave the comment and if you're the expert in certain field like a chemistry pharmacist let us know so we can learn from you okay so this is the dr brand the magnetic wait what's the name magnetic age definer mask so we're gonna leave this on and i'm gonna put the elf beauty shield on this side all right so i discovered the elf uh, beauty shield at target about months ago speaking about target amen seriously target is like the best place to shop and i have to say that um i actually work at target when i was 18 years ago that was many many years ago and now today Target you can buy some really cool stuff and some luxury items it's like it really revolved to something really awesome anyway so I discovered this and then I'm thinking for twenty four dollars and one point seven ounce I'm gonna have to give a try so I did I bought one and um I just need to show you guys okay so this is their magnetic powder mask so I'm gonna use the same spatula apply on my skin so watch this so again, you see this consistency? It's it's a very similar like the Dr. Brand. It glides pretty easily. Okay. And immediately, the biggest difference I have to say is the scent. This is a completely no scent at all. Uh, like the, unlike the Dr. Brand one, it has a beautiful smell. And uh, I need to make sure I give you the right information, but either way, I'm going to put the both products link in the video so you can go on their site to get more uh, knowledge. So the consistency is the same. See that? It glides pretty easily, but the smell is very, very different. And also, if you notice that the e.l.f. Beauty Shield, it's kind of matte colors versus Dr. Brand. It's more shimmery and it's because they put essential oil in here. That's the difference. I get a lot of people ask that, you know, it's spending more money buying expensive skincare is better or not. It technically, it should be a little bit better because when you pay more, that means 
beside the packaging, honestly, you are getting more ingredients. So it really depends you. But it's not every product is like that though, because I just tried to mask um, a different company mask, two masks together. I was not impressed for the expensive one. So it's personal opinions, I think. Okay. So this is the budget friendly. This is the expensive one. Okay, so it's been a 10 minutes now, so you can still see with the Dr. Brand, the mask itself is very shiny because of essential oil. And the ELF skincare, the mask is not so shiny because there's no essential oil in there. And uh, how do you take this off? There's a tool, a magnetic tool right here. So this is from Dr. Brand. It's very tiny, and this is from the ELF. So I think this is probably easier to remove, but I want to show you how to remove this one first. Um, if you look at both product ingredient lists, the first ingredient is iron powder. So that tells you a majority of the product ingredient is the same. So let's just figure it out the before and after, see which one would I better, okay? So you need to wrap this around the tissue. And you're gonna just, well, I'm gonna get close to show you guys, okay? As you do this, you can, let me, let me do this. See that? It's weird. Hold on. So it's a very powerful magnet though. It just sucked the magnet power, uh, mask on the tissue. Okay. Let me, now I have to move to clean the other side. So look at this. It's hard to peel off because it is so strong. Okay, and then you suppose do another one here. So I have to say this process is painful. It's like a lot of work. Watch this. Let me get close to show you guys. Okay, so you see that it works. But it's just like I had to keep on moving the tissue and um, I think that's a lot of work. So now I want to show you by L their tool to remove the mask. So it comes with a plastic bag. So you can basically put this in here. So this is the cheaper one by the way, okay? So watch this now. I should do it this way. See that? It comes right off. It's much more faster. That's cool, right guys? See that? Super cool. So, you guys can see, obviously, this is a lot of work. This is faster, so I'm gonna use this one, remove everything, okay? It should work on this too, watch this. See, just, it's so easy just to remove everything. Fast and quick. It's so, I think this is like a Instagram thing. It's so fun. Uh, so I can tell you right now, if you are buying other magnetic tool uh, mask and they don't come with the large, um, I don't even know what you call it, the uh, attractor thing, just buy the Elf. It's $24. It comes with this big one. It's so much more easy to use. I know I have some little bit uh, around the skin. But I just want to show you guys the first, very first impression on my skin. So this is the skin with the Dr. Brand. You can see the very, it glides very smoothly. Okay, this one is, it has a little glide in there because the silicone, they both for silicone ingredients, but it's just not as glowing as this one. And I think you can actually see the difference though. <music> Even I see the light, this is, I think it's a little bit better. What do you think? Leave the comment below. For this particular comparison between the e.l.f. Cosmetics versus Dr. Brand, uh, you can see the difference on my skin. I, from the, vid, from the camera I see right now, 
I think this looks better than this one and it feels very like I put essential oil on my skin so even though initial price is $75-$74 dollars, but you're getting three ounce so when you buy two of this it will equally about $50 uh, so it's still twenty some dollars. Was so I think this is twenty percent more expensive than this one, but I think the result this is better. However, where is it? I much more like this tool, so I will probably buy one of each, but keep this tool for this one. <laughs> right? Just so much more easier to do this versus little tiny little things right there. So um, that's my feedback on this mask. It feels really good though. And you don't really need to rinse it off, you can just follow by your toner, your serum, your moisturizer. You know, because the magnetic tool to attract all the iron powder, make your skin smoother. So, um, thank you so much for watching my video today. Do the comparison, the luxury versus budget friendly. And today, the luxury one, yay! Um, so once again, thank you so much for all your support on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. And don't forget to follow all my social media right over here, especially my Instagram and check out my Instagram story. At the end, thank you so much again. Uh, don't forget to give a thumb up for this video and share my video on your social media. And the most important thing, subscribe my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.